Frostbite, uh, strictly speaking, is frozen skin. But before frostbite, there is frost nip, not as serious but quite common during our cold Canadian winters. Frost nip is sort of cold, red, painful skin. And it's a very good warning sign that if you don't uh, ch change your environment or get out of that cold environment to to an area that's uh, more safe, you could develop more frostbite. Frost nip is easily treated. Simply placing a cold hand, for example, into a warm one can do the trick. There's also no risk of any lasting complications. Frostbite, however, even a mild case, is much more serious and more difficult to treat. It's just to, to what degree or how many layers of tissue are actually frozen. So superficial frostbite may affect, like, say, the tips of your fingers. But if it's very, very deep frostbite, that includes all the tissues and skin, but even the muscle below that can be actually frozen solid. So frozen, in fact? Just like something you might find in a, in a frozen meat section in a, in a grocery store it's that solid so how do you know when you've surpassed frost nip and are headed into frostbite territory uh, the skin may uh, be actually more white uh, be, and begin to feel firm to the touch if that's the case seek immediate medical treatment if none is quickly available ensure you get out of the elements and into a warm environment you can also use warm water, not hot, up to 41 degrees Celsius to help thaw the frostbitten area. Just ensure that once it's warm, it stays that way. If something has developed even mild frostbite and then refreezes, there is a high risk of tissue loss or, or a necrosis. In other words, you may actually begin to lose the tips of the fingers or the tips of the nose, and, that, and that's a, a sad reality sometimes. Deb Matiichka, The Weather Network.